All right, you ready? To the market it will go, to the market it will go. What's this? Blood and Fire, presented for excellence by Commanding General. Oh, there's a ton of them. Oh, Survivor, oh. You know who's a big, huge Survivor fan? Oh, that's a nice Harley Davidson painter's cat. Uh oh. Yep, that's what it's for. Cracking skulls and taking names, right? Whoa, what happened there? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, what? Ooh, shoebox full of something. Uh-oh. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, you ready for some excitement? We're gonna get through the rest of this unit right here. This is what I went through in the last episode or two. I don't know. It's a 10 by, uh, what is this? 10 by 10, 10 by 15? I don't even remember. I do remember that I bought it for just a dollar, all right? But so far, we found some interesting stuff. A lot of garbage, a lot of furniture, but then a couple glimpses of hope, such as a potential Louis Vuitton bag and a safe. Number one priority, clean this thing out as much as possible anyways, and get my trailer loaded for the flea market going tomorrow and when I say trailer yeah there's my beast right here and I just finished cleaning out the other unit so that's what's left there let me show you what that unit looked like before and after there's that one there's the after all done and clean all right so that always feels good it feels so good to be finished with the unit but Let's get that feeling back in a little bit when we work on this and get it cleaned out, shall we? Let's dig in. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, be prepared. This doesn't look pretty. All right, you ready? Threw up my mouth just then. Just kidding. No, this really doesn't look very pretty, but it does look different than the last episode, okay? And I'll tell you why. Jana and I actually came here to grab a couple things out the other day and just wound up taking a lot more than we planned. We took a lot of stuff out of here, so uh, made some room, mostly in the back. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff stacked in front. It makes it look full. It's really not. It's really not. Yeah, but there's still a lot of stuff here, including some boxes and bags in the back that we haven't gone in. That's what we're going to be doing pretty soon. But right now, like I mentioned, let's get that trailer full, loaded, hit mostly with furniture. There's a lot of furniture in here. Let's get that thing loaded uh, so I can go to the flea market tomorrow, make a little bit of money, at least make my money back. Just kidding, it is a dollar. But hopefully a little bit better than that, right? We got some nice pieces of furniture in here, washer, dryer. But anyways, let me get to it. Got a nice wall start on there. I don't I don't know if I really need to stack it that high and tight, but I'm gonna be on the safe side. And check out this uh, treadmill. Looking at a little closer. Oh, maybe we did look at it closely last time. Okay, I got a buddy that just told me, hey, I need a treadmill. You got a treadmill? I said, dude, I got a treadmill. Yes, I love that. I love that. So I'm gonna try to get that to him. I think it looks like it'll probably work. What else we got in here? So this thing's, this crib, that's what it's looking like. We got the mattress and the uh, frame under the mattress right there, the spring or whatever. Oh yeah, we had that table back here. I got that out because the table was broken. It's one of those heavy six foot tables. It was actually broken. So got that out of here. Um, yeah, we got to go through this stuff, guys. <laughs> I see bowling ball, bowling ball, bowling ball, bowling ball. We don't really sell bowling balls very well, so that's not a great find. But And we got this whole stack right here to get through. I was hoping that might be into the safe. It's kind of jokingly hoping that, but looks like a garbage can. <laughs> not exactly the same as the safe. And this looks neat. Elite Fitness, a little inversion table. I think something like that, I probably won't bring that to the flea market because it's brand new. Probably just sell that local. Well, I gotta get that down up there. I should have taken that last time, but it was tight quarters in here. So that table is actually a little bit heavy, heavier than it looks. So, or maybe it's the box, I don't know. And if you're asking yourself, why does he have three dollies today? Well, I'll tell you why. This one came with a locker, but the tire's flat. Forgot the bike pump. This one is one I prefer to use for moving some of the heavier stuff. This one is one I'm taking the flea market because I don't care if someone borrows it and doesn't bring it back. This is my cheapest, lousiest hand cart. Still works great, but just not a value. This one's much better. This is going to be one of my new favorites, I think. All 
All right, this is kind of funny. So now I got four dollies with me today. Ay, ay, ay. Locker nuts, he likes to play with his dollies. Get it? This is a pretty nice dresser. I like the lines on it and everything. But, you know, condition, condition, condition. We've got some missing parts right here. That's unfortunate. Uh, the missing handles, three of them. That's not as big a deal to me as this. This, I wish that was there because the handles actually don't match the style as much. A little bit more modern looking, I think, just because it's like brushed chrome or something. Eh. There's sticky drawers too. It's not a not an especially high-end piece, I don't think. Looks like, uh, I don't know. Well, I was going to probably bring this home and list it, but now I'm looking at it and I'm like, meh, I'll just bring it to the market. This will be going cheap, so we'll probably ask like maybe, I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks at the market. If I was to list it locally, I would say probably 75 in that condition and take an offer. If it was in nice condition, this would be a $150 piece. Actually, I like the backside a little better. You'd expect it to have that, like a particle board, you know, just a flat particle board piece here, but this is not. This is some plywood with some reinforcing boards across it. That's that, This might be a decent piece that's got me a little bit more interested now maybe under this paint something a little prettier maybe something worth uh, salvaging I think they put these handles on afterwards those would not be original on this piece to the market it will go to the market it will go hi ho Mario we'll sell it cheap you know you know you know tomorrow this piece right here, not going to market. This is a beast. I'm gonna take pictures of that when I get this room empty, list it for free, and hope someone picks that up. It is a beast. I'm not moving that. It is not worth it, because it won't sell. That's like five, 10 bucks, maybe, 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 at the flea market, it's not worth it. I'm listing it for free. I know better. <laughs> I've done this before. I ain't no fool. What the heck? This is so heavy. Why did they put this up here? Talk about fools. That's a fool move. It's not super heavy, but it's it's way too heavy to be putting up there. People have weird strategies for packing stuff. The hardest part about all this, guys, is doing it on 1,050 calories a day. That's the diet I'm on. And I'll tell you, that's not a lot of calories. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That was not a soft landing. I did not nail the landing. Well, I kind of nailed it. I nailed the corner anyways. All right. Okay, let's see what's in this box that they stacked so high. Ooh, I see some camouflage poking out. That's, uh, I see dog hair, cat hair or something on everything. That sucks. Okay, Lion King, Platinum Edition, DVD. <laughs> Missing. <laughs> ah, that one's there. Twilight. What you got, Stanley? Leaving your money behind? Let's see, we got a check, we got a check. Nope. New, no, nay. Nice little military cap, but covered in cat or dog hair. Gross. Oh, okay, there's some screws. Bag of screws. Okay, insert joke here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's screwed. No, actually, that's good because uh, that crib. That crib's going to need assembly. So those will likely come in handy. Okay, star belt. I'm just checking the cards just to see if there's... Oh, I like the hand warmers. We'll put that aside. All right, I always mention that we save those for the flea market in the winter because it gets super cold out in Stockton in the morning. But we're checking the cards just in case. Oh, there's the Lion King. All right, redemption, redemption. Wait, this, wait is it scratched up though? Ooh, it's looking very scratched actually. All right, we'll send it to the market. It's not often we find money or gift cards inside of cards, but it does happen. It happens enough that it makes me want to look. Oof, those are really gnarly condition. Usually it's people that have some money, you know, like rich people, wealthy people, people who are having high incomes. They are the ones that leave money. Hawaiian pride, wow, that's not a lot of pride going into that condition with the hair all over it, but I feel ya, I feel ya. What's this? Blood and fire presented for excellence by commanding general. Oh, this is like a challenge coin right here. It's in the shape of like a teardrop, but it's a challenge coin. It's very heavy. It's like enamel. That is, that's cool. We will put that aside. That will make it into a live auction at some point. And hey, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say live auction, we do live auctions on our YouTube channel. 
That's nice. Short films, DVD. All right, that, for example, will also be into our live auction every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific. But as I mentioned, only on YouTube. I see some more challenge coins in there. That's fantastic. Challenge coins are a big, big seller on our auctions. We only save the best stuff to go into our auctions. Oh, this might be it. Oh, wow. Look at all these coins. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, this is really good. To a member of our U.S. Armed Forces. Thank you from a grateful citizen. That's so cool. I love that. Awarded for Leadership Excellence. President First Region Norm Harkins. I wonder who that is. Okay. Okay. We got a lot of these ones. Pacific Division. Make ready. Train to lead. Yes. I love finding these. POW MIA. Warriors Watch Riders. We have your backs here at home. Oh, these are so cool. I love this. You guys have been watching a while. I found first time I found challenge coins, I didn't even know what they were. Obviously, I've not been in the military. You probably would know if I were. Combat Vets Association, POW MIA. Dope. Dope. So cool. A joint mission in the pursuit of freedom. Global war on terrorism. <laughs> Oh, guys, I'm excited. I'm excited right now. American Legion. American Legion riders, that's nice. Iraq, Vietnam, Bosnia, Kosovo, Afghanistan. Oh, wow. 12th Psychological Operations Battalion. Oh, my goodness, these are so stinking cool. Presented by the Commanding General for Excellence. Yes. Oh, my goodness, guys, these are so amazing. 95th Military Police Battalion. Yes. Oh, man, this is so cool. So cool. Oh, there's more. <laughs> there's a ton of them. Luis Caldera, Secretary of the Army. Wow. Okay, NORAD, U.S. NORTHCOM. This is probably the best thing that we've found so far, I think. I don't know. Well, the, the Louis Vuitton purse is nice, of course, always, but in the safe. All right. But let's get those. Uh, let's get it verified. That's real purse. And then let's get into that safe. See if there's anything good. But this, uh, this is pretty dang cool right here. Yes. All right. That's neat. All right. That's at least a hundred bucks right there. At least a hundred bucks. Maybe much more. I don't know about the rarity on this. And now I'm, now I'm pumped. Let's keep going. Okay. What is this? Commercial lightweight headset made in the UK. Okay, we found some stuff earlier that I thought might be like police issue. That looks like it could be something along those lines. We'll put it aside. Some clothing here, but I get the feeling like it's all like underclothes, like thermals and stuff. So maybe they worked outdoors. Yeah, a lot of thermals. Oh man, there's so much dog hair on everything. Oh, US Army uh, Velcro patch. Yeah, it's all decent stuff here. This will sell. What is this? Swim trunks, camouflage. Elite MMA. That's cool. Oh, look at that. Subaru. <laughs> I'll add that to my key collection. Uh oh, this is heavy. What do we got here? Right in the rain. All weather writing paper. Huh, it's a little day planner. That's pretty cool, though. You know, I would just might put that aside. That's a neat little camouflage piece, a little organizer. Somebody still uses paper organizer. You might want that. Uh-oh, I just saw something at the bottom there. Hang on now. That's all this. Strizzy's gift card. Strizzy's is a restaurant that is near us and uh, we do like to eat there. TJ Maxx, $25. Still got the pin there, not scratched. Oh, <laughs> oh. Funny, funny, funny. Didn't find any guns. And then what I find right here, a holster, alien gear. Nice. And a couple of uh, US flag patches. All right, that's good. One more pass just to make sure. Nope, now put it all back. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's get something else going here. Uh, did we look at this one? It says hats. Looks like hats. Oh, I don't think we looked at this one. I think this is yet another box of all hats. 2000, okay, mm. East Diablo, I think some of these probably aren't that special. Let's take a closer look. The other ones we just put aside, ooh, that's dirty there. There we go, super clean. L, locker nuts, J, uh, M, hmm. 50th Pony Sawball, the Star, East Diablo, 
Uh, I think these might be some kind of like local leagues or something. That's what I have a feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's see if this is more the same. I don't think it is. GNS Farms. Big B Lumber. Home Depot. Farms in Hawaii. Okay. F. Yes, I don't know what these mean, but I don't really care. That look like Diamondbacks, Dekines. Well, that's nice, NFL. All right, these look better right here. I'm gonna put these back in. I see those might be a little better there too. Well, maybe. What is this? East Diablo, not those. So we'll bring those to the market. These we'll put aside, because uh, yeah, I'm making a nice batch to bring to the vintage flea market next time we go. Last time I bought some hats, they did pretty well, but they were pretty good hats. These I don't think are, but we're going to try them out anyways. Okay, I see another box of hats right here. This one's not been opened, so that's a good sign. Mm. Oh, okay, there's Mickey Mouse. We like finding Disney, that's full show. That's a nice hat right here. Oh, Survivor. Oh, the Australian Outback. How cool is that? Outwit, Outlast, Outplay. Not in that order, but uh, yeah. You know who's a big, huge Survivor fan? I mean, Jan and I are huge Survivor fans, okay? But that's not what I'm talking about. Camille is a huge, huge Survivor fan. That's dirty. I like the hat, but it's dirty. She's a huge fan. She loves it. She's been watching all the past seasons. Oh, that's nice right here. Yeah, Disneyland. Goofy's Hat Company. I know where that store is. Okay, that's cool. Raiders. Grumpy, some Disney hats. Side Out USA, okay. Yeah, all right, you know what? We're not gonna go through all of them. There's a Harley Davidson cap right there. I like it. We'll just bring these out to the market. That's not bad right here. Raiders, oh, that's a nice Harley Davidson. Painter's cap, uh oh. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Guess, I guess I won't be selling that one. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, it's just, is that the new look right there? No. That's a really cheap hat. It is a cool pattern, but it's a cheap hat. Quality matters, guys. Quality matters. That's what happens when it's made in China. And maybe that was not made in China, but I have a feeling it was. I put my money on it. I put my money on it. Made in Bangladesh right here. And that one didn't go... Ah, get rid of that one. This one is kind of cool. Cheeseburger brand, huh? Cheeseburger. I actually really like that hat right there. I don't know why. Something about that hat. I like it. I might just keep it. For a minute. Brentwood transmission. Mega. I don't know what those are. Market. Pacific Bell. Amici's Pizza Place. Hey. Hawaii. That one's alright. Okay. I don't know. Alright, we'll bring this to Vintage Market. What the heck? Why not? The only thing, the only collection we found in there from this guy was the hat collection. There's two hats there. We found two before. It's the only thing you've seen to collect. Well, and bowling balls, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> he collected bowling balls, strangely enough. This is light. Yeah. Well, I do see Christmas stuff, however, I see Raiders Christmas stuff, so that's a good, that's a good. That will sell at the flea market. Yes, indeed. The rest of it, I don't know. Old world Christmas right there. Oh, look what's inside. No, just kidding. <laughs> that was coming off, that wasn't me. Oh, well, hang on a sec. This actually is kind of neat. These are those glass ones. Hmm. Old World Christmas. That's actually not bad. Potentially. I don't know. Maybe it's bad. Maybe it just doesn't matter. I don't know. But they look a little bit nicer. The box sure is fancy. Even though the glue is coming off, they could always be re-glued. No harm done. Nothing is permanent. Okay. But the rest of this... There's some brand new stuff in there. Yeah, it's a good flea market. Okay. Let's see what's in here. This one's also light. I have felt Christmas. You hear that? I hear a little jingle jingle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Christmas, 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 Christmas. Oh, nothing too old, nothing too cool. Get all of it ready to go to the market. Ah, oh, more Christmas. Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. Alright. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Have you guys seen enough? Well, too bad. It's going to the market. If you want to see more, you gotta go to the market. Come on. Come out there. Meet me out there. We'll go through it together. Okay. I just loaded those bowling balls and I'm looking at this one. It kind of looks like another bowling ball bag. And it says the Raiders on it. 
Could it be a Raiders bowling ball? Got some shoes in this one? No. Alright. Okay. Uh, now we see a little bit more of this right here. That is a trunk right there. Looks like it's getting dimpled in from the weight of what was stacked on it. But who knows? Maybe something good in the trunk. What's this? That is nice. Energizer lantern. I'm seeing a lot more stuff that we can sell. Air compressor, mini air compressor. You know what guys, I think I'm gonna put this aside. I keep not keeping these and then I need it and I'm like, oh, I wish I had kept one of those. I had a million of them. <laughs> a million. Oh, right, what's this? High intensity Xenon mini work light with hat mount. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put that aside. That might be an auction item. First aid kit. Yep, that's what it is. Ow, dang it, I swear I just pinched myself with that. <laughs> now I'm gonna need it. It's in this one. I just gotta look just in case, just in case I hid something else in there. This one's actually a little bit nicer and newer. Um, yeah, I kinda like that one. Just put that aside. Okay, what is this? Yeah, D-Lo 400 multi-grade. Big old flashlight, huh? Okay, that'll go to the market and it will sell. Here's another one. Big old flashlight. It's heavy duty too. That's nice, it's got a little place so you can angle it. I like that. What other goodies you got in here? Got some safety goggles, a couple more first aid kits. There's a little headlamp. What's this? <laughs> Guys, you know what that is? Yep, that's what it's for. Cracking skulls and taking names, right? That is actually pretty dang useful. And I don't think I have anything like that in my van, if you know what I mean, like self-defense, you know? I might put that in the van. Digital tire gauge. Sounds all great and all, but then your batteries run out and then what do you do? Okay, good box. Okay, let's see what's in here. Well, it looks like some bedding, comforter, black and gray. Looks like Raiders colors in there. Yeah. We're getting down to it. This is a nice little pile right here, guys, but we're getting down to it. Thanks for going through it with me. It'd be kind of lonely here by myself if you weren't with me, and I do appreciate that. I do indeed. All right, what do we got here? East Diablo. That's got to be like their neighborhood like softball team or something, because... Diablo is uh, the mountain right by here. That's Mount Diablo. Brentwood, that's a city near here. Uh, Blu-rays. Lewis, okay. Oh, uh, there's a my, oh, that's, yeah, yeah. That's a single stitch right there. Single stitch, extra large, size extra large Miami Dolphin shirt. That's, that's definitely gonna be something for the vintage market. That is so freaking cool. Look at that, 1972 perfect season, 17 and 0. Very nice, that's a good shirt right there. Let's see, Super Bowl. Uh, that's that is also a single stitch right here. It looks newer because the colors are so bright, but it's not Super Bowl 19 Dolphins So a couple of shirts for the vintage market and as I've mentioned before maybe in the last video That's really what I'm looking for in a fine clothes. I'm looking for that kind of stuff uh, That or Levi's this is anchor blue right here. I'm not as impressed with that. It's good flea market stuff Okay, we'll add to that box East Diablo pony baseball pony baseball, okay Anchor Blue, those will sell for sure. Ties are a little bit hard to sell these days. Not that many people wearing ties. Not that many people going to work, right? South Pole, um, is that a good brand? It feels like it's decent quality. I don't know. Another pair of Anchor Blue and those are shorts. There's a nice fleece right here. What size is that? Large Champs. That's a nice fleece. I'd almost wear that tomorrow to the market. Okay, there's another pair of South Pole right there. Uh, those look almost look brand new. But I don't really... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was just about to say, I don't really see anything in here that's that interesting. Alright, we got a little rosary. It says Italy, but that's not silver. Still is nice. I'll put it aside. I always like to lot up our rosaries and sell them in auctions. Yeah, that was not a bad bag right there. That's some good stuff. That Miami Dolphins shirt right here, that's, I'm the most excited about that piece. All right, let's grab another one. Here's another clear one. Anchor Blue, you love the Anchor Blue. Oh, there we go, Raiders. Nice, NFL brand. That's a nice one, extra large too. Let's put that aside. I don't think that's anything high value, but it's definitely a little too good for Stockton. What's the B for, Braves? I don't know. Okay, this is, looks like a bunch of baseball stuff in here. There's some baseball pants, a bunch of belts and stuff. 
Oh, this cup. <laughs> Gross. Grabbed it. I'm like, wait, there's something in here. Oh, it's a cup. Baseball socks. There's a bobblehead. Who's that? Bonds. Oh, Barry Bonds. Okay, the box is mingled, but I'll put that aside. Bobbleheads can do decent. Ooh, Chips Ahoy! You temptress, you. Oh, they're open. Okay, maybe not that tempting. I'm not gonna go there. Uh oh, look at this. Eye patch with the Raiders. <gasps> yes, I think that's the look for me. <laughs> Shout out to Storage Auction Pirate. <laughs> okay, here's some bath mats. Those are gross. Uh-oh, this is good. Could be good. Apex One, huh? Authentic Pro Line. Oh, yeah. This is a Raiders jacket. This is nice. Yes. That's a nice piece right there. Okay. Find a little better stuff. That kind of stuff will sell at the uh, vintage market. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Bengals. Ooh, Chad Johnson. Nice. That's, uh, that's some money right there, I think. Very nice. Okay. Good, good. Guys, we're doing good now. Yeah, that may have been it though. The rest is work clothes, except for this sweatshirt right here. What's this say? South Pole. Alright. Oh, jeez. Look at this. Another bowling ball right there. <laughs> jeez. Man, guys, that's hard to get rid of these things. But, let's see. Easton bat. That looks kind of decent. I don't know my bats, but I know some bats can go for money. Got some horseshoes. Got this Louisville slugger. Alright. Yeah, I'll just load this right on the trailer. Okay. I like what I've done with the place. I <laughs> I got a couple blankets out of here and, and actually just heard back from my friend he said he's gonna take a pass on this he said just go ahead and sell it if you can actually unrelated to that I noticed there's a missing cup holder there so probably a good thing that he did pass because I didn't even see that I told him it was in good condition apparently it's not so it's okay but still it's not perfect uh, obviously if it works is more important than a cup holder but still I like to represent my stuff correctly all right, this one, got more clothes in here, okay? So let me go through these clothes. I'll pull out anything that's interesting because it actually looks like it's about to fall off the chair right now. Okay, I just transferred everything from that bag to that one. I was basically working one-handed, so I saw a few things. I pulled it out. I didn't look at it with one hand, so let's look at it together. All right, no fear. Uh, no, no impression. No impressed. It looked like a t-shirt. That's why I pulled it out. All right, this one. The Bears. Yeah, that's kind of neat, isn't it? That's a little better. Unique. I don't know if it's unique, but it is the Bears. I'll put that aside. It's another t-shirt. Ed Hardy. Okay, there's Ed Hardy. I don't know. I don't know. Women's shirt. Uh, Roma. Roma. Just a double stitch, so it's all right, but we'll let it go. Let it go. Oh, that one's super. That's a double XL, too. Well, there was a time not too long ago that I would fit into a double XL, but... Right now, that's going to be a little big on me. Oh, and then this bag, I threw it to the side. Some chones, chones, because it felt a little heavy. And here's why. Got some deodorant and the contact lens solution. All right, <laughs> that's where the weight was coming from. All right, never mind, never mind. Next bag, I'm going to get some loose stuff here. So let's go through, oh, this one's heavy. This is a big bag. South Pole, all right. It's kind of a nice shirt, it's a little dirty. That's a nice jacket right there. Let me load this and get another garbage bag where I can transfer. This one is, this is a very thin bag and it's just, it's tearing up. It's too old. All right, guys. Now, before we get started, let me just say one thing. Just because you see a garbage can, just because you see a garbage bag, does not mean that this is getting thrown in the garbage, okay? I've said this so many times before and I guess I'm going to have to say it again because every time I say it, I still get the comments. Garbage bags are great for moving clothes, any soft materials that you want to keep clean. The inside of a brand new bag is clean, obviously, uh, and that's what makes them great. They're tough, they're soft, so you can squeeze them in tight spaces. It's great, but it seems like every time I put anything of value like uh, clothing in a garbage bag, I get the comments, I can't believe you threw those clothes away. Come on, guys, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, that is a nice jersey right here. NFL Authentic Peterson Vikings. That is some money right there. That's worth a few bucks. That's a good. That's why we're going through this right now. Uh oh. Raiders. Raiders jersey. Mitchell and Ness. That's a pretty good brand, isn't it? Oh, this is a throwback right here. Bo Jackson. Oh. All right. That's a good one. Bo Jackson. Throwback jersey. Okay. Okay. A lot of this stuff maybe should go in the garbage, but. <laughs> okay, this is going to market. This is going to market. So calm down, you guys. You know the ones I'm talking to. Join the resistance. Matador. Matador beef jerky. That's kind of neat, actually. Okay. Oh. 
Oakland Athletics. Nothing too special about that. I'll let it go. Some Raider swim trunks right there. Classy. Classy. Don't make me go stewy on you. <laughs> now that bag is thrashed. Look at that. How many holes in that one? That one's thrashed. That one's good. Okay, what else we got here? A couple of shoes. There's some Nike Airs right there. That's decent. Wonder light. Well, it takes two to tangle. Let me put these aside, actually. I'm sure we can find a pair. Oh, this is all shoes. Okay. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, that's too bad. Those are nice, right? At one point. Those are some Air Jordans. Yeah, those are, I think those are beyond repair, though. Okay. Nikes, those are pretty nice. Wow, those actually are pretty nice. If you hear some pounding in the background, I think someone's working on their unit. That's... I need to find some pairs here. There we go. There's one pair. Uh, those are those are nasty. Giorgio Brutini garbage. These ones good. Oh ho ho ho! Oh what? Dang. Can that be repaired? I think that could potentially be repaired. Looks like they tried tried to reglue it. Those are those worth some money or what? What number we got here? One three six zero one zero one four one. Hmm. I'm gonna put those aside just because, just because. What if these are some rare shoes or something? Even in that condition, maybe a little value? I don't know. I don't really know. Nice Raiders bag here, almost like an animal print. All right, some used toothbrush and deodorant. Garbage bags. Whoa, what's all this? Togo's gift card. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hang on now. Got some gift cards in here. Maybe it's got something, huh? Shell gift card, 25 bucks. And then there's some receipts. Raider image gift card. Ooh, that's kind of thrash though. All right, well, you know what? Let me, this bag's just about full, so I'm gonna put that one on the trailer and get another bag. Okay, bag two. Yeah, it was a little thrash. That's a nice ba uh, hat there. It's kind of misshapen. I'll let it go. Brahma boots. Oh, okay, yep. And they are there. So I'm gonna put those right on the trailer. Trailer's starting to get a little full. Starting to get a little full. It's gonna be a heavy load going tomorrow. Okay, what we got here? You guys having fun? Is this a good locker? I don't know if it's a good locker, if it's a decent locker. For a dollar, I mean, geez. We're gonna make money, that's for sure, but. Uh, work boots, a bunch of work stuff. Okay, there's a lock. Uh, yeah, we got a couple locks in there. Those aren't the kind of locks I use. What's in here? These some really nice gloves, some work gloves. Look at these, Stanley. Those are some nice gloves right there. Huh? Size nine. Those are brand new. I might put those aside and keep those. Whatever. All right, that'll go to the market. Okay, this is empty. <laughs> Gotta make that quick. It's hoping to be treasures hidden inside, stocked with treasures. Huh. I'm getting a little full here. Some of this stuff's gonna go on the truck because that's one of the last places I got room. Yeah, but it's looking good. I'm, I'm happy with the load, the way it's packed anyways. Find out tomorrow if I'm happy with the load. I make some money or not. This is some sort of a tarp here. There you got the poles and connectors. It's, it's good. Okay. Hmm. That's actually pretty decent right here. I, I do sell these. These are not that hard to sell uh, locally, you know, on the like Facebook and such. So this is a Sharp CD-XP200 right there. Uh, looks pretty decent. I'm going to put that aside, actually. I don't think I'm going to bring that to the market. Not yet, anyways. Because here's the two uh, speakers here. Those look nice, too. I'll probably change my mind before I'm done loading. Bring it to the market and blowing it out super fast. It is tempting, but I think I can get 50 bucks for that, at least 40 bucks for that locally. I'll get maybe 10 at the flea market, like if I'm lucky. Now, if I wanted to bring it out a few times, I'm sure I could command a little bit higher price. But if I'm bringing out once and blowing it out, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, there's some more Brahma boots. Those look like they're in decent condition. They're very large. Those are good work boots. All right, this corner's starting to look a little bit lonely. A couple laundry baskets. Okay. Ooh, shoebox full of something. Uh oh. This is interesting, isn't it? Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Blu ray. New Year's Eve. 
Yeah, it's in there. Good, 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 good. Our old cell phone right here. Yeah. Couple of notes. Dividers. What exactly is this? Place both marbles in both holes. Oh, there's a little hole there and a hole there. Okay. It's a game. This is something right here. It's a little pin. American flag. Cool. Alright. Not that interesting. Okay. What's in here? Batteries. Oof. Those are all. Mm-mm. What's in here? There's something in here. Something in here. Oh. It's a glass dolphin. Wow. Okay. Alright. Sell that at the market, I guess. Okay, you got a Raiders blanket. Really? It's tore up. All right, well, we'll still try to sell it. There's an A's backpack. Okay, there's something in here. Mm, it smells really bad, too. Top ramen, old toothpaste. Right, nothing, nothing, nothing. This one looks oh, way better. Okay, there's an Air Jordan. That one's also really, really rough shape. This stuff's all coming apart inside there. This guy just wore them to they died, right? A couple of Adidas right there, those are cool. Okay, this must have been his dirty clothes because it's stinky. Very stinky. A little bit more jeans. I've seen a lot more of the South Pole and what are these? Class player, huh? Okay, those are fancy. Okay, I got some more shirts here. Not vintage stuff, not not really anything too cool. But I bet you those will be the first things to sell at the market as far as the clothes go. I'm going to take those uh, t-shirts for sure. Alright guys, this is the last piece of uh, unboxing mystery, alright, that we've got in this locker. Uh-oh. Hmm. Are we going to be able to do this? Where's that knife? <laughs> maybe this, maybe this. Sorry, Key. Sorry. We can do it. We can do it. I know we can. I have faith in us. Together, we can solve this. Oh, I kind of mangled the key right there. Let me see if I got a hammer in my car. I do not. Huh. It's light. It's very light, but there is something shifting around on the inside. So if I can't get that open right this second, it's no big deal. I'm just not going to bring it to the market. All right, so looking around here, this is all good stuff right here. I got to find a box for that. And uh, garbage, garbage, some keep over here. I got to get this chair on. The keg, I got the keg out. It's not very heavy. Some aluminum right there. I'm going to at least recycle it. All right, I think that's gonna do it. If there's something good in here, I'll pick up the video when I get back here and I pop that open. But otherwise, uh, let me just get this trailer loaded and get out of here because tomorrow's the market and take another look at that Louis Vuitton bag. Intriguing, exciting, adventurous, and we'll see that soon. But first, flea market, well, let me wrap up. I'll see you guys soon. All right, took the stuff home. All right, you guys saw the safe. I actually opened the safe later, but I put that in the last episode. If you didn't watch it, go back and check that out. Um, it was not empty. There was a couple of interesting things in there, so um, definitely worth a watch. I was actually pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be all paperwork. It wasn't. Um, but the Louis Vuitton purse... Uh, Turned out to be fake, all right? All right, so anyways, we go through a couple ways to authenticate those purses, but in this case, we had a real Louis Vuitton found in a different locker, which was authenticated, and then we had this one, and when you put them side by side, yeah, definitely not a real one. You can just tell the colors are off, the materials were off. So, uh, but also just to be safe, Jana did send that into the authenticators, and they said, nope, nope, not real. They get back to you pretty quick when it's not real. Uh, they can spot a fake very easily. So I'm still learning. I have my doubts, of course, but I also had my hopes. So anyways, that wasn't real. We took all the stuff to the flea market the following day and uh, made a little over 250 bucks, meaning I came home with 250 after paying um, somebody to help me and then also pay for the booth. So uh, we went on a Thursday, which is supposedly the best day in Stockton. And lately, no day's been a good day in Stockton. We keep going back there because it's a good way to move lower end stuff, especially in bulk. But it's not been very good sales lately, at least not for me and not for us, not with the stuff we bring. I know some of the other vendors are doing just fine, but they bring their best stuff there. But we save our best stuff for the live auctions, right? That's where, that's where our good stuff goes. 
It doesn't matter though because we've got other lockers, other lockers to clean out. We're buying all the time and uh, we're having fun and we're finding great stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos even when we don't find any like amazing treasures. I think they're exciting. I know some of you think they're exciting and I just want to say thanks so much for watching the video and coming along with me on the adventure. Okay, next one will be out soon because I've bought more lockers and... <laughs> We found him more great stuff. It's going to be very exciting. We got some exciting stuff coming up. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locking Up. Those are nice. We found a couple of collections of these. Okay. Ooh, oh, that's a that's a safe. Home security, right? Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you got just because it's blinged out doesn't mean it's not safe. It says right there, Brinks. <laughs>